Hi folks, this is David Fine with Keys Mods. Welcome to Wacky Worms. We've got a wacky worm for you today. The Caribbean Buckeye Precis Genoveva uh, South Florida Rarity. Check it out. So we've got three buckeye species in South Florida. Uh, we've got the common buckeye, which is, you know, throughout most of North America. We've got the mangrove buckeye, which feeds on black mangrove, and they live in coastal areas down here in South Florida. But we've also got the Caribbean buckeye, and that's probably the hardest one to find out of all of them. And these things are very difficult to tell apart on the, on the wing in the wild because they all are found in the same habitat. The Caribbean buckeye can be told apart by its uh, other buckeye counterparts, uh, predominantly by looking at the eye spots on the dorsal side of the butterfly. So on the top, very top of the forewing, the top dorsal uh, eye spot on the sides of the wings, there's a cream band that comes down from the top of the forewing on all buckeye species. Now, on the common buckeye, that thing wraps around all the way around the inside of that eye spot, but on the, on the Caribbean buckeye, that cream-colored band stops on the top of that eye spot, and it, the, the, the circle around the eye continues, but the circle is more orange instead of uh, cream-colored. It's kind of a subtle difference, but that's really one of the best ways to tell them apart. Also, on the hind wing, there are several eye spots on the on the typical buckeye common buckeye those eye spots are different in size and the the, the 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 eye spot on the top of the hind wing on the common buckeye is a lot larger than the one right underneath it on the caribbean buckeye those spots are about the same size and they're a lot smaller so that's about the best way to tell them apart the underside of the caribbean buckeye is a little bit more bold in its color typically uh, although the common buckeye is, is pretty variable in its in its coloration um, the Caribbean buckeye is a little bit bolder in its patterns. The mangrove buckeye is a little bit easier to tell apart. It's got more of a drab brown kind of overlaying tone to that butterfly, a little bit easier to tell apart, and it's very tightly associated with black mangroves. So if you're, if you're nowhere near a black mangrove uh, tree, then you're probably not gonna see a man black mangrove buckeye. So the host plant for the Caribbean buckeye is Stachy terafida jamaicensis say that one three times. It's a porter weed, uh, a native porter weed that grows uh, typically in coastal areas and beach dunes down in the Florida Keys and southernmost Dade County. In fact, one of the best habitats to find the Caribbean buckeye is actually along uh, highly manicured canal banks because this porter weed will grow um, and, but it quickly gets choked out by other plants if there's too much vegetation in an area. But a place where, the, where it's heavily mowed, like on a canal bank, uh, the, the porterweed actually thrives in that environment. And that's probably one of the best places on, on the sides of canals in southernmost Dade uh, and even Monroe counties. Um, the sides of uh, canals in Dade County is probably one of the best places to find a Caribbean buckeye. They also live in Everglades National Park. That's a good place to find them, but this is a tough bug to find. When you do find them though, you gotta pay real close attention so you don't confuse them with the common buckeye because they live in the same spot. So the eggs of the Caribbean buckeye, they're laid on the undersides of the leaves of the host plant, this little porterweed host plant, and they don't need much of a host plant to live. Maybe a, a plant one or two inches tall is enough to sustain a buckeye caterpillar. And eggs are green uh, when they're laid, they last a few days, caterpillars hatch out, and they're black, and they've got all these, all these like little spines and tubercles all over their body, and they've got an odd looking creature when you look at the caterpillar. This of this butterfly up close, uh, but they eat the leaves of the porterweed uh, plant and they pupate down there in the low growing vegetation uh, down there where the porterweed grows. So photographing a Caribbean buckeye in the wild is a lot easier said than done. These butterflies are wildly skittish. So when you get anywhere near them, they fly and they'll catch a wind and they're just, they're just gone in one second. 
in one second. So it's kind of a frustrating thing trying to trying to get good photographs of this butterfly. Uh, they love fighting one another, very territorial. If you ever thought of butterflies were these peaceful creatures, get into a colony of Caribbean buckeyes and just watch them fight each other. Male Caribbean buckeyes fight all day from the time the sun comes up until the sun comes down. They swirl in these acrobatic looking uh, displays and it's very territorial. They're waiting for females to emerge and they're, they're fighting over that territory. So uh, it's a great bug. I love this butterfly, very difficult to find, but we got some great pictures and we hope you've enjoyed it. That's all the time we have for today. We hope you'll check us out on Facebook and Instagram, follow us there. We've got plenty of great information like this on the butterflies and mouths of South Florida and we'd love to share it with you. Subscribe to the channel, click the little bell for notifications. When you do that, we'll get you these videos in real time so you don't miss them and you'll be able to catch up with all the wacky worms of South Florida. But until next time, guys, let's get down there in the Keys. Let's get down there in Dade County. Let's find some Buckeyes. Take care. Let's get out there. Thank you.